going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. Today is a very special day because today is the first day that we are going to be starting the rebuild of the Lamborghini Super Trofeo Huracan. God, that was a mouthful. This is gonna be my practice car for racing this season. So we wanna get her put back together as fast as possible. And the first thing we have to do before we do anything else is installing the fuel cell. We have Brandon Fios Racetronics here to help us today to make sure that this install goes well because this is one of the most important pieces not because it holds the fuel, but because if you ever have to do anything to it, you have to pull the motor and trans out, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so we don't want to have to do that. How's it feel? Might be Pretty cool. I never realized how small they are until you sit on the floor. Yeah. And like, I can see just fine. Yeah. If I was really any higher with a helmet on it, I'd be- Getting close to your head there. Getting close, yeah. I'd have to have a little bit of a lean. I actually like it. The field of vision for me and sitting here is nice. Yeah, it's like perfect for you. I'll take it if you don't want it. <laughs> You're like, dibs. It's cool, this cage work is insane. I don't envy who had to do this. It's cool to see this all stripped out and having your foot next to an air shot because air shots rule. So to give you guys an idea of where she's going to sit, you got the front of the car, business in the front, you got party in the back. So this little cutout here is where the bladder is going to go. So as you guys can see, you got engine and trans. It's going to be a little difficult to service if we screw it up. So we're just not, we're not gonna screw it up. The really crappy part is about the newer cars, the fuel filter is internal. And the older ones, it's out on the fuel rail, like right here, it's so nice and convenient. Wait, by the newer ones, are you talking about the Evos? The Evos, yes. The Evos have them built in internally. Like this, all you gotta do is take the quarter panel off and it's just right there. You know, like a typical fuel filter, just a quick disconnect yeah. things and it's done. And now this one is, oh, let's get the tool, you know, <laughs> get a rag. My fuel pump went out and I had to take my motor out, I would sell the car. <laughs> <laughs> not, sell the car, buy a new one. Yeah, that's my favorite feature I think about the older cars is the fact that it's right there and not inside. Stick to the RBs. They're better. Says the guy with his <laughs> bolts falling out. Hey, yeah, what what hey, exactly happened there? I still smoke Dude, people like with it. one turbo. I had like this single turbo RV26 you got going on. Yeah, right? just the other turbo for looks. Yeah, Finally, exactly. you listened to the comments and did a single turbo. That's right. Single turbo for the win. Now I just added another one, so I'm gonna win more. I uh, really what happened was one of the bolts backed out of his collector, so he was only running on one turbo. I can't really talk trash. I got my TJ sitting on the floor in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> Loser. <laughs> While Brandon and I are gonna do the fuel cell on the Lambo, Dan's moving Mimi out of the shop so we can do some tweaking on the vet. I really just I didn't want to deal with the manual steering box today, guys. All right, we got the bladder installed, we got the panels on. We're gonna start building the tower. It's pretty straightforward though, so far. I feel like though, this is just a giant Lego set. <laughs> they were, they pre-designed it for us to make it easy for us. <laughs> they did a good job. Man, I need to start working on more cars I like this. I just changed oil, I came back and this is all done. <laughs> Yeah, what's it like changing oil on the vet? Harder than this. Yeah. <laughs> Installing a fuel cell on a Lamborghini was easier than changing the oil on the Corvette. <laughs> With no motor in there. Yeah. I still haven't even driven one out on the track yet. Really? I haven't even been passenger seat. <laughs> you gotta take this out then, once it's done. Can I? Yeah, of course. So basically the whole fuel cell is just foam. Yeah. This is the baffling. Yeah, this keeps it from sloshing around inside the tank. Yeah, we've been doing it all wrong. <laughs> There's so much, it just doesn't even look like it goes all in. I literally just have like a jug in the back of the Buick with no baffling. And it only fits five gallons. So we're gonna need to get new seals for this, just to make sure that it seals- Like a little gasket here? Yeah, it's a full gasket that seals this surface to the inside of the bladder. So you can't just bite it out of zone, is what you're telling me? You could try. <laughs> just be like, I need a part for a Lamborghini Super Trofeo. Yeah, you gotta make sure it's the, you gotta make sure it's the right one though. Two wheel driver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Automatic or manual. So if you guys want to see something pretty neat, you see this foam here. This fills not just lines; it fills the entire fuel cell, and it's essentially baffling. So fuel doesn't slosh around. I can't believe I haven't seen this before. This is brilliant. This is amazing. Why don't I do this in all my cars? This is an extra piece. Everything is installed right now. What we're going to do, I know this is cheesy, I know, but I want to, more than anything, to put the body panels 
on the Lamborghini. We may as well do it. We can see what she looks like. Right now we have everything installed. We are waiting on the motor and the transmission to come in. We're waiting on all of the arms and the wheels to come in. We're actually gonna be doing a little Lamborghini shopping next week at the first Coda race. I'm gonna be able to support. I'm doing the test and development year. So I'm gonna go out there and just do the track walk, experience it, kind of get a feel for everything and, and just learn. And Lamborghini actually brings a truck or multiple trucks of enough parts in order to build four Lamborghinis from the ground up. So while we were there, I'm going to be purchasing some of the suspension arms that we need. I have all the parts from the car that's currently up at the Button Willow shop with Shane. The only thing is a couple of those parts were damaged from the wreck. Like the lower control arm and, and um, maybe a couple pieces here or there. I'm glad we're making progress and we're starting on getting this build done. In the meantime, what we're gonna do is get all the panels assembled and I always see what she looks like put together. Brandon's doing this, so I just wanna show you guys how easy the door is. Easy. But it's literally just slipping in into these two holes there and uh, that's the door. That's it. Fucking race cars, man. They're so easy. I'm telling you, this is a giant Lego set. All right, we're gonna do the rest. I'm gonna set the camera up here. what it is I actually own until we put all the panels on. Take a look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness. It is so nuts to see all the panels on this car. Before it was just a shell, we got the bumper on, we got the front on, we got the fenders on, we got the doors on, the rear quarters. We even got the bonnet on too. This is nuts. This is crazy to see in person, especially with the old school Mr. Brainwash livery. This is insane. I almost didn't realize I had a Lamborghini sitting here. So obviously I'm gonna have to be doing this Lamborghini build in parts. The first part being the suspension, wheels, tires, and all that. We need to order some parts because some of the pieces uh, were broken from the wreck. Once those get in, likely after the Coda race, we will be installing the suspension on this car, parking her on the wheels, and we will officially have a rolling shell. After that, the Lamborghini V10 engine should be arriving soon. And once that gets delivered on a crate, we'll be installing that as well as the transmission. There's gonna be a lot of little stuff to do too, but I am so excited. Man, looking at my Corvette in comparison, <laughs> this thing is a cakewalk to put everything together. It was so easy. We installed a fuel cell complete by the time it took Dan to do an oil change on the Corvette. We literally put a full body kit on. I mean, minus the fenders being taped to the hood. Everything was just Zeus clipped on. It took us five minutes. It's amazing. I just have to reiterate how nuts this is. I took a fan photo with this car at Thermal Raceway four years ago. I was invited by Choi. I was still new on YouTube and I just remember the feeling of being around a Lamborghini race car and how unattainable that had felt to me and how insane it was just to be there. And ironically enough, I am rebuilding my own practice race car using parts off of the race car that was so inspiring to me back then from the same team who was there that day four years later. Never in a million years would I have thought that I'd own this car behind me. I think, awesome progression. Thank you Good for job. all your help. We actually have a flight to catch because we're going to the Super Trofeo race over at Coda this week. So I'll be kind of doing a little vlog on my phone since I'm not allowed to bring a camera in. And uh, I think it'll be a good time. My second time at Coda. You're gonna like it. I think so too. Are you excited or are you just nervous? Both. <laughs> Both? Both. How many cars are you guys running? I believe we're running four or five this Oh this hour. wow. So you're gonna be busy. <laughs> A lot of cars. I'm really excited, but we gotta go. We're gonna be late. We are currently at Coda. 
this is day two. Yesterday was practice. This morning was qualifying. This evening will be the first race, and then tomorrow's the second race. This is amazing. We have the Lamborghini Hospitality, which I'll show you guys later. Currently, we're walking straight to the parts truck because we need to get some parts in order for me to finish Truffle Butter. I've named the Lamborghini Super Trofeo Truffle Butter. We got the tents right there. All of these are built as parts. Take a look at this. Like I said, you guys, it's enough to build four full cars. You got some more brake pads down here. And get this. Everything here is a double decker, so if you go upstairs, they have more parts up here. We got some manifolds here. All right, and see, we got the Kevlar tubs here. We got some of the air intakes, front bumper, rear bumper, basically all the fenders over there. Yeah, this is super cool. I'm like geeking out up here. And this is how they join all the stackers together. Little walkway. And now we're in the second one. So in here they have a lot of tools in case drivers or teams need them. They have a toolbox full of specialty tools. They've got a welder, hopefully you don't need that. And then you guys can see we're going to a different stacker now. This third stacker is strictly GT3 parts. He's gonna be looking for an entire car. Yeah. <laughs> gonna need a full set of uh, studs for the control arms. Front, rear, upper, lower. How much are brake pads? Each. Each box. Wow. Race a Lamborghini, they said. Thank you guys. Thank you. They're pulling the parts right now. I'm gonna come back later and I'm gonna grab them, but pretty pretty neat setup they got there. Alright, race one has officially begun. Thank you kindly. No problem. This will be fun trying to get through TSA. <laughs> All right, I got my bag of Lamborghini studs. I think we have everything officially. We can finally start working on the suspension components on truffle butter. Race one just ended. All the cars are going through a post-race inspection right now just to make sure everything was good. But uh, Steven, one of Shane's drivers, placed third, which is awesome, so the podium. and what a sweetheart awesome dude we had some good conversation and if you're watching this man I'll be rooting for you for your next race I'm really excited for this I don't I don't know if I've been to a NASCAR race before so I can officially say I've been at Coda to see F1 Super Trofeo and NASCAR Push a car forward a half an inch. At least I look cool getting in my own car. Super cool. <laughs> oh. 